Coming up, we'll take a look at the event-driven automation using new Python and PowerShell language support for serverless compute using Azure Functions. This allows you to bring your automation scripts to the cloud and run them automatically when needed at minimal cost and exponentially more scale. For example, you may have a script that automates a task you've had to do manually for a while. You love what it does, but you have to manually run it and manage it on your machine constantly. Now here's where serverless comes into play. You can now bring your scripts to the cloud and use Azure Functions to listen for events to trigger your automation scripts without the complexity of managing your own automation infrastructure. There's no management of servers required, and better yet, you only pay when your code is actually running. You simply publish your script and that's it. If you're already using services like Azure Automation, Azure Functions are perfect for tasks that you want to run near instantaneously in a few seconds or within a few minutes and more efficiently. For example, here you can see a log of a task executed by an Azure function. And as you can see, within a fraction of a second, the task is already executed. Let's see this in action with the real world scenario. I've got a global company that wants to take advantage of secure chat-based collaboration at scale. They want to add seasonal first-line workers across locations that are often not in their directory to do things like share schedules, company information, and ensure easy communication between team members. Now, this can get tricky with different patterns of seasonal hiring across locations, where our shops may experience rapid bursts in new members who all need to be joined to the team. As the ops person, you don't want to be on call to attend to these requests, and we want to make sure that we minimize delays in getting new hires on board. So let me show you the new language capabilities first in Python. So here I am in the Visual Studio Code experience. Now Visual Studio actually comes with first-class integration with Azure Functions, so I can easily create functions, publish functions, or manage my functions, all from right here in Visual Studio Code. Now let me walk you through the script that I'm about to run. First, I'm going to authenticate with the Microsoft Graft. It then can automatically add the employee to my Azure Active Directory and assign them to the correct group based on their location and team. Now finally, I'm actually going to send them a text message with a link to the app so that they can download it and get started. Now as soon as the hiring team submits a list of their new hires, it's going to create an event that triggers this script to run within Azure Functions. Once I publish this to Azure, my function listens for the event. So let's try that out now. I'm going to show you an event coming in. I'll run the Azure function right here. And you'll see here's my team. I only have three members in my team right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new member to this team. We're going to add Adele Vance. So let's go ahead and submit Adele now. And you'll notice as soon as I run that script, my Azure function has kicked off and run the script. I even got my text message that popped up right here, letting me know that I've been added to the team. And then finally, if I actually come back over here to our team and click Refresh, automatically and within just a few seconds, my team has now grown and Adele Vance has successfully been onboarded. Now the beauty of Python, which is in preview today, is that I can start to explore other strengths of the languages, like integrating machine learning and maybe in the future using this data to analyze hiring patterns. Ultimately, our goal is to allow you to use the language that you're most familiar with and harness their specific strengths. Equally, let me give you a first look at the same automation scenario using PowerShell, which is coming soon. On the left, you'll see the Python I just showed you, and on the right, you'll see the PowerShell. You'll see it's a little bit more concise due to pipelining and other features of PowerShell. But this script does exactly what the Python script did, and in addition to my existing script, I can now introduce bindings that allow me to integrate with other services. I can leverage a simple PowerShell command to integrate with Cosmos DB so that I could store hiring data that could later be leveraged for machine learning. Now in Azure Functions, with this single line of script, I can now integrate with Cosmos DB. So with the new language support in Azure Functions, I can take these scripts and jobs that I may be running manually or in managed infrastructure today and move them to run in a serverless architecture. And we'll continue to add more languages. For example, Java, c -sharp, and JavaScript are already available today. So you can get the advantages of event-based automation at scale in your preferred language. And when you use your favorite scripts, the experience is as simple as copy and paste. 
Now you can try out the Python preview today at the link shown, and make sure to check out the PowerShell preview, which is coming soon. Now you are on your way to serverless, and it's fast and easy to get your scripts running in the cloud. Thanks for watching.